Hi, welcome to Sheepish, episode 25. Today is Wednesday, October 23rd, 2013. I'm Holly. So welcome everybody. It is the day before Highlands on the Fly. So this is going to be a shorter show. I just wanted to kind of touch base with everybody. There are a few changes that are going to be happening, um, well, that have happened, and a very big change that's going to take place this weekend. Um, so I wanted to go over that. I hope you guys have had a great week, two weeks since we last talked. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started with what's new shave sheepish so one thing that you guys might know if you go to the um, blog at all for show notes um, or to just see some of the other posts the url is changed so instead of having that long url of sheepishpodcast.wordpress.com it's been shortened to sheepishpodcast.com <laughs> i figured that i've been doing this for about a year now I should probably just go ahead and invest in that. Um, and so it makes it much easier to find, I think. So if you're looking up Sheepish Podcast, that should be one of the first things that pops up. Um, you can still get there through the old URL. It's still a WordPress site. I just decided to get the domain for it. So yay. Um, iTunes. <laughs> this is the big change. Um, the iTunes feed, as you guys know it right now, by the end of this weekend is going to be no more. And there are a couple of reasons for that. I, I don't ask for donations and I don't want them. Um, but it is not inexpensive to find a place to host and um, put out a feed for you. And I thought that I had had a great solution when I used Podbean when I first started recording. But the problem with Podbean is that they give you very little, um, they give you very little storage in your free account and you fill it up very quickly. And so even if you go up to that account, that's one step up, it does, it fills fairly quickly too. Now, they used to have a you used to be able to upgrade and then downgrade if you ever needed to and that's pretty much what i was planning on doing i mean i've it's a little annoying putting it up in a couple of different places but it's it was what i was doing and I, de I, I decided that I was going to downgrade because they now have better limits monthly, blah, blah, blah. There isn't a way to do it anymore. There isn't a way to even just cancel a subscription on f for my end so that they don't keep charging me. So that way I can just keep everything up and have that available and then have a new feed or even move the feed because they aren't giving me what my feed address is, like the feed that goes to iTunes. So, so yeah, I've decided that I'm moving the feed. The, everything is going to be hosted on the blog. Um, so I am actually moving to video press and that's actually gonna save me about $100 a year ish like 50 to 100 dollars a year depending on if i need to buy extra storage which i might because you know some of these podcasts are long um but even if i do it's still going to be a better deal than what i was paying before so that being said <laughs> there is a new feed for itunes um, i will actually post that both in the show notes as well as um, on the Ravelry board. And I'll probably put like the direct link right here. Since I'm wearing black, I can put it on the boobs. Um, so that way you guys can go ahead and redirect there or go in and um, resubscribe. So unsubscribe to the old one, resubscribe to the new. And this is what it looks like when I 
go into into it on my iPad. Okay. Okay. So you see here, sorry about the glare, that there is whoops a sheepish here, and then this one. The one that has the new feed is the one that says sheepish podcast. So it's got the little two little arrow thingies, and then it says podcast. That's the new feed. That's what's going to. Um, that's what's coming from the blog, and that's where we're going from here on out. Um, I will still upload to YouTube. YouTube has been very good to me, and I know that there are a few of you who only watch on YouTube, and that's perfectly fine. Um, I'm still planning on uploading um, or linking to um, the YouTube, excuse me, itchy nose, um, linking to the YouTube video in the group as well, because I know that there are a few of you who watch just on the group. Um, so, yeah. A few changes, hopefully none of them too, too bad at the end of, well, I was going to do it today, um, but definitely by the end of the weekend, you should notice that the old feed for iTunes is dead. I don't know if that means that it's still going to have things coming in for, or like you'll still have the old videos up there, but I have uploaded episodes one through 24 onto um, WordPress. So, and that ain't up a lot of storage. Um, but I uploaded that to WordPress, so we should be good to go. Um, I have not yet tested, like actually subscribed myself to this, and I'm going to do that later this, after, or later this evening. Just to make sure, but I believe it does work. Um, iTunes, once I gave them the correct feed, I had issues with the feed and trying to get the new one. I'm actually going through feed burner now. Like a lot of people who got booted from Blip, um, going going to WordPress and using feed burner for their feed because you can actually can access your feed and if you need to change it, if you move things around, you can do so. And that's actually really important to me because I wanted to make sure that I could get the videos on iTunes. So yeah, <laughs> change, 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 change. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I am happy to answer them. Um, apologies go out to um, Deb, who was our, I believe, September sock winner. I have just now gotten your package out um, and it is on its way to you. So you should see that in the next few weeks. I sent it priority because it was going to take the really slow boat if I sent it regular mail and they wanted to charge me an arm and a leg if I wanted to send it express. <laughs> so it's going priority. Um, the post office says three to five business days. I don't believe them because it's going across an ocean. It's not going to take that. It's probably going to take a couple weeks. Um, but yeah, so, and I included a little extra in there for you. So sorry. I, I hope all's good. Um, but yeah. So let's go ahead and get started with the current roster. Yeah. There's, there's been some progress made. Not much, but some. So let's go ahead and start with Hero. Yeah, that's actually got the least amount of progress made on it. As in, I'm not even, I'm not even in the color work section. <laughs> not yet, at least. I, this was actually a product of casting on with the size that I'm going to use for the actual body of the sweater, realizing I hated the rib in that size, ripping out and casting on again in a smaller size. Now, I am making adjustments to the pattern, so I'm going to pull this out and see if I can give you a detailed, let's see, is there a good picture of the hem? Okay, here are a couple of pictures. So, you can't really tell on here. Plus, it's not, oops, sorry. 
my computer's doing something funny these days and when it decides it wants to shut down it turns everything off so I have to log back in and yeah okay so here you can see it better this is the hem and it's a turned hem and I debated back and forth as to whether I wanted to do a turned hem or not I mean I did one for my hourglass sweater but I so I opted, I actually opted to not do a turned hem for a couple of reasons. I opted because I'm opting to add some color work to the bottom to balance it all out. I'm actually going to do the sleeve repeat. So this repeat. And so I am doing what the pattern is telling me to do for the ribbing, um, which is a one by one ribbing. And I'm knitting that for two inches, and then I'm going to start the chart and then transition into the main body color. Now, while the chart or while the pattern for the sleeve says to do a one by one rib, that is quite honestly not a one by one rib. So I went back and forth and decided I was going to do the one by one rib. I like one by one rib. Um, and I'm going to do one by one rib on the sleeves. So that's that. that so I am starting off with this which is called gray gardens it's mad tosh vintage it's called gray garden so that's going to be that contrast color and then the body color is going to be this which is showing up really kind of greeny gray but it's actually a warm natural color um beigey um and that is it's antique lace and so that that's actually this is going to come up with me to the highlands on the fly retreat i doubt that i'm going to really get past any of these so i'm just going to take um, a ball of the main body color and the ball for this and i should i should be all set for that so there is that and this is actually living in a bag that i forgot to tell you about last week um this is by the knotted bag I believe yes sorry I knew that there was a thing here yes the knotted bag come on focus there we go so etsy.com slash shop slash the knotted bag um, and she's out of Canada and I know that she that a lot of podcasters have talked about her and I had been very curious as to her stuff and hadn't had a chance to check her out. Um, but she posted on one of the groups, it may have been the Knit Girls group, that she had a bag that the fabric, she didn't realize that the fabric had a stain on it. And put a picture of the stain up, of the fabric with the stain, and I really didn't see it. And I really couldn't tell you where it is on here now. It's in one of the flowers. Uh -oh. I don't know. But it's a really nice bag. I like the fact that it kind of closes on itself like this. My problem with it is that it's still fairly open, which for most people wouldn't be that big of a deal. But when you've got a cat like George, who basically thinks that all yarn is his, all knitted items are his, um, yeah. I've seen him try and pick put his head in there a couple of times I'm usually around to say no um, and when I put it away at night I kind of fold it on itself so that way it's not as easy for him to actually maneuver all that so that's hero next up living in my space balls stitched by Jessa Lubag is the well, they started off as vanilla bean socks, and then partway through the leg, I got bored. And the thought of doing an afterthought heel, for some reason, just didn't work, or just was driving me batty. So, they became the vanilla bean, not a sock, fingerless mitts. <laughs> So as you can see, I, I carried that slip stitch vanilla bean pattern throughout. 
I started, I did thumb um, increases for the gusset and I did ribbing up here, did Jenny's surprisingly stretchy bind off. I did a twisted German cast on because that's just what I like. And it fits really well. You'll notice that it's got this weird little slant. And that's because by the time I had gotten up to here and added in all my thumb um, increases, which I probably could have stopped a little while before, but the height is perfect. So I went ahead and joined this back in the round, didn't add any stitches in, and it was still too loose. So I did a series of decreases, um, matching decreases on each. And yeah, it fits really well. And I actually like them. I thought about doing some decreases right around the wrist, um, but then decided against it because I want these to actually be fairly, you know, I, I don't want these to be like a specific right and left. I want to be able to pick them up and just um, use them. And so I always wear a watch, always. If I don't, people start wondering if I'm ill, if, if I'm having a bad day, because me forgetting my watch is just unthinkable. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with these. They probably could have stood to be a little bit longer. Um, have so, and it's driving me nuts that my bind off is half gray and half of the alien green. Oh well, I'll get over it, right? <laughs> I probably could have gone a full um, stripe more, but if it continues to bug me, I'll go ahead and I'll just fix that. <laughs> but I don't think that it will. I really don't. Um, they're comfortable and they're fun. And yeah, so I have an almost hope. And I cast on last night while I was catching up on some podcasts. And I started again. So I'm only about two, yeah, two row, two rounds in. Again with the twisted German cast on. Let's see. So you can see that it's a little more bumpy than a regular long tail, but it's really stretchy. So, yeah. So the vanilla bean not socks, <laughs> fingerless mitts. They started off, I had every intention of knitting socks. They've actually become my go-to project. My, they, they're in my purse project. When I can get a couple rounds out, I will. Um, they've become my hockey knitting um, because they are just that mindless. I just kind of, every now and then I have to back up because I've just knit past the color change. And then I just undo, you know, I tink back and fix it and keep going. So yeah, that's everything that's on the current roster. So not a lot. I'm thinking that I may add um, a hat to the to the mix when I think of the Highlands on the Fly stuff that I want to take. So we'll see. I need to see if I have needles though. I do somewhere. I have all sorts of needles. Don't know where any of them are. But you might realize that that means that there's one less thing on the needles on that current roster. That's right. The Bondi socks are finished, completely finished. I need to take pictures. Whoops. Going to go back here. I need to take pictures, but they are done. They look great. They fit. And I promptly, once they were done, I told my mother I needed to actually take pictures of them and show you guys before I gave them to her. <laughs> um, so these are using my Bondi socks pattern, which uses a twisted German cast on for that nice, super stretchy, a one by one rib, a simple garter rib. Hey, I, yeah. A slip stitch heel. And then just going down to your toe. Yeah, I'm really, really, I really, really like these. These are Mad Tosh Tosh socks in the 
sea spray colorway. I think that's what it is. And they were knit on US one and a half millimeter or one and a half needles, which were two 2.5 millimeter. So I'm liking those a lot. And I had that much left. And my mom has bigger feet than me. So if you've got you know larger feet, a skein of Mad Tosh might do ya. So there is that. So yay. So that's the current and the alumni rosters. And I haven't touched my wheel, haven't touched my spinning. I really have basically just tapped out of the um, of the yarn raising new to you spin along because I just haven't had time. And let's see. So let that takes us to what's making me happy. Well, if you can't guess, Highlands on the Fly is tomorrow. I'm meeting Michelle at the airport and we're flying up to Maine tomorrow. <laughs> Today was a good vacation day for me, just kind of getting everything done. I am still not packed. I still have laundry to do. But I was able to get a whole bunch of other stuff done, so there's that, right? Um, I'm so excited. I am planning on, or I'm hoping, I won't say planning, I'm hoping that I'll be able to, if not do an actual, record an actual episode, um, record some video here and there. So that way you guys can, you know, see the area and it's, from everything I've seen, it's gorgeous. Um, it is supposed to be in the 40s, the mid 40s, <laughs> the entire time we're there. So I will be bringing hand knit socks, hand knit sweaters, um, some t-shirts and sweatshirts because I'm hoping that I will get into a somewhat messy-ish class so <laughs> that I wouldn't want to put my hand knits near. Um, I'm trying to pack light so I can keep room in the suitcase. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> but yeah, so excited about that. Also, what's making me happy, it's going to make me happy until at least April. Boy, Jean. Hockey. Um, we are nine games in. And are we nine games in? We are at the towards the end of the first month. And we are not completely sucking <laughs> we won that we played last night in um oh why can't i think of it i can i can see them and well we wow this is really bugging me i can't remember my brain is shot but we won we won in a shootout so yay um, and that's the first of a five game, um, away streak. So hopefully we'll continue that winning streak. Hopefully we can do it in regulation. That would be really nice. Um, yeah, I think though, I think that's about it for this week. I am hoping, like I said, to do some, do a little bit of recording, if not a full episode while I'm up there, um, just get some, get some video of the area and maybe of some of the participants, just kind of see, you know, have some fun with it. And if I don't do an episode while I'm up there, I will definitely do a recap when I get back. So yeah. So that's about it for this week. I hope everybody has a great week. Remember that the URL for the show notes has changed. It is sheepishpodcast.com. Um, I can be reached at uh, via email at sheepishpodcast at gmail.com. I am on Ravelry as Knit Girl. I am on um, Twitter and Plurk as Sheepish Podcast. Not that I've been on either very much lately. And I am on Instagram as knitgirl726. Um, have a great week. I will see you when I get back. 
hopefully I'll have some really good purchases to show you and some great stories. I am so much looking forward to this. <laughs>